Apple just destroyed the competition. What's up guys, we're back with the latest news. We'll be talking about the latest Galaxy Fold 3 camera specs leak, as well as Samsung's upcoming cheapest 5G phone. But before we talk about that, we need to take a look at what Apple has done at their spring-loaded event. They announced a lot of new exciting products like AirTags, which are surprisingly cheaper than Samsung's SmartTag, the brand new colorful iMac with a questionable design, and then something that no one, and I mean no one saw it coming. Apple officially bring its fastest processor, the M1 chip, on an iPad Pro. For the first time, a tablet with a desktop class chip, this just absolutely kills the competition. For those who don't know, Apple M1 chip is the fastest chip for laptops and notebooks, outperforming Intel, Qualcomm, and others. And since they brought this to an iPad Pro that you can buy for $800, this makes this the fastest tablet on the planet. The only Android brand that is trying to compete with Apple when it comes to tablet market is Samsung. But at this point, it is completely understandable that Samsung has no response to Apple's M1 chip. They are working with AMD on a brand new Exynos processor that is set to rival Apple A15, which we'll see on the upcoming iPhone 13 series. Even if by some miracle, Samsung decide to use their AMD Exynos chip on their upcoming Tab S8, still it won't beat the iPad Pro. Very likely, Samsung will be sticking to a Snapdragon 888 or Snapdragon 888 Plus chip, which is again no match for Apple's M1 chip. Now all that power on iPad Pro won't be for nothing. Rumors are saying that Apple is working on prototypes of iPads with working Mac OS and iPad OS. Some notable leaksters have said that Apple could bring Final Cut Pro and other major applications to the iPad. Apple knows what they're doing. All this power that iPad currently has won't be truly utilized by iPad OS, which is why it needs Mac OS for that ultimate experience. And when that happens, it's gonna take the iPad Pro to an untouchable level. Will Sam Samsung or Qualcomm have a response for the M1 chip, we'll see about that in the coming days. Samsung is unveiling three new laptops at their PC Unpacked event, so we'll see where those product stands compare to the M1 chip. Also in the news, we have leaks coming for Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 left and right. This time, we have leaks regarding the cameras. The Galaxy Fold 3 is once again set to pack a triple camera setup similar to the Galaxy S21 with triple 12 megapixel lenses. Some other sources are claiming that it might actually pack a 64 megapixel zoom lens. As for the front camera, the outer cover display is set to pack a 10 megapixel lens and for the inner display, we'll see a brand new 16 megapixel lens. Now these front cameras sensors will be very special because they'll be under display. As we have heard multiple times in the news, Samsung is indeed bringing under display camera on the Z Fold 3. And lastly, Samsung's cheapest 5G phone is completely leaked. Courtesy of all leaks, we have high quality renders of this cheapest 5G phone, aka Galaxy A22 5G. Believe it or not, these cheap Galaxy A series phone, they end up being the best selling Android phones of the year. So I can completely understand Samsung's vision. Again, nothing special going on when it comes to the design, but it's going to be very affordable. And for a lot of markets, it's going to sell pretty well. So so that's all the latest news. Apple has ended the competition by creating the world's fastest tablet ever. Someone needs to do something about this Apple M1 chip, Samsung, Qualcomm. They have to bring something of the same level for tablets or else this game is pretty much done. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.